Why is every person for themselves? All this for freedom, what's the cost? Coming together is an evolution. People come and fight against illusion and exclusion. As a Muslim woman of color, should I dare think that I am capable of being the leader I know I'm destined to be? I won't even ask if I should, as they claim we now live in a democracy. But how could that be close to true when we feel chained down by society as we walk around free? It's sad to say that in 15 years, people will still be greedy. They will take too much and not give back. I don't think anything will happen to stop people being racist and unaccepting. There will still be a social divide. Once I was ashamed of thoughts of diagnoses and illnesses they'd associate my name, brandishing your complexities with some inescapable label. Henceforth, forever your records will read mentally unstable. As a society, we proudly shout, all children matter, knowing full well some get, some don't. And yet we live in a democracy where the government sits back and asks us to vote. As a child in care, you always feel fear. And as a child in care, you're quick to learn. So far from home and so alone, but with her. To be together was a lucky break. To be together kept us safe. What I hope for the future is equality. I want the youth to have a voice, for everyone to be respectful, for it to be a safe world and for the arts to come back into schools and for it to be a beautiful and united world. The NHS we're proud of what a sport it deserves. We built off a politics of policies, not personalities and slurs. I want us to face the future and be open to the world. Let's join to face this challenge in a multitude of ways. Resistance is fertile, let's join to form a way. <laughs> Can we have a, can we have a green?